Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel but if you're new my name is Carla and I make videos about how I show up for myself in hopes of inspiring you to do the same. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favourite ways that I show up for myself and that is through fashion and today's video topic is all about creating a capsule wardrobe specifically for people who like to dress alt, rocker style, are a little bit of metaler, maybe like a decaf goth, you know, whatever style that, whatever you want to call that style, people who wear a lot of black. If that's something that you're interested in, hopefully this video will be for you. And I have put together 21 pieces that are hopefully interchangeable. If you've been here for a long time, you know that fashion is, uh, without being cliched, is one of my biggest passions. As somebody who lost 13 stone, I had been overweight my whole life and I was never able to express myself the way I wanted to through fashion. And over the last number of years, since I reached my goal weight and have been maintaining it, I have really been enjoying expressing myself with fashion. And I know that a lot of you guys have expressed how much you enjoy my fashion content and enjoy what I do here and how I show different outfits. And that you are looking to either when you get to your goal weight or just if you're just in general looking and interested in fashion with more of an edge and I thought that this video might be really helpful for you. A capsule wardrobe is a condensed wardrobe that has a number of key well thought out items in it that are interchangeable so that you can use them with other items, you can use them on their own. Do you remember in Clueless, that movie with Alicia Silverstone? I'm sure anybody, everybody knows that movie. And she had that digital thing where it was like the old school computer where it was like scanning across different items. It's basically kind of like that, like trying to find things that suit each other so that you can mix and match. The benefits of a capsule wardrobe are that pretty much nearly everything goes with something else, at least one other thing. They also, it reduces cost. And as somebody who has lost weight and had to replenish my entire wardrobe, I think a capsule wardrobe would have been a really good idea for me. However, I got very excited and just bought everything. So that didn't really happen. But if you want something that's a little bit more considered, if you want something that is maybe a little bit better for the environment, a little bit better for your wallet, a capsule wardrobe might be the way for you to go. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you the pieces, each piece, and just kind of talk about why I've decided to pick those and then talk through how we can interchange each of them. Without further ado, let's get into it. I've divided into categories because that's what I do, that's how I work, and I'm gonna run through it now. So our first category are tops. If you're in the States, I think you call them shirts. If you're in, I don't know where else, but in Ireland, we call them tops. So things that you wear on the top half of your body. And I start off always with a good basic. I think basics are really a way that you can they just are something that you can build on. They are nothing too fancy, nothing too over the top. So I've picked out three different styles here. So the first one is this. Um, I Actually, I'll link everything that I can below, just FYI, or alternatives or something similar. So please check the description box down below because it will be full of links for you guys to find stuff that might suit you. Just before I get into each item, I've divided them into categories of what type of wear they are and what I've included in it. Just to give you an idea, so a capsule wardrobe does not include gym or workout wear. It doesn't include formal wear or specific office wear. So if you are going, if you're a lawyer and you have to wear a suit, this obviously isn't going to be a capsule wardrobe for you. And there are many, many videos about that out there. So please, you know, check them. I might even link some down below if I can find them about something that's a little bit more suitable for you. It doesn't include formal, formal wear, but I have included a couple of things that you can dress up if you're going on a night out. Obviously, as this is for the alternative rocker, a lot of these clothes are black or of the, like a black nature. I've included a couple of bits of tones in it, but the majority of this is black because that is what we wear that is the the style that we wear i have also picked it into different categories so the different categories are tops bottoms so tops will categorize as anything that you wear on the top half of your body bottoms are anything that you wear on the bottom half pretty self-explanatory uh, then I have outerwear so this is again this is not for extremes of weather this is for pretty mild you know moderate temperatures moderate 
times of the year you know spring early summer autumn that kind of time and of course we can add jackets and we can take away jackets and things like that just this is just kind of like a a medium one you know you can actually there's some great videos as well and I might do something um, later on about editing a alt capsule wardrobe for winter um, or for summer or for spring and if you're interested in that please let me know down in the description or in the comments but so I have some outerwear and then I have four pairs of shoes and some accessories and this is basically very much so based on my style and of course you know you guys might not like your like Mike might not like my style specifically and that's completely fine I call my style kind of elegance with an edge so I like to be very put together it's something that I did the whole way through the pandemic I got dressed up it makes me feel really good about myself when I'm dressed up I just like being dressed up and like being very put together if that's not for you I completely understand absolutely no shade this is just what I like to do so the elegance with an edge kind of like a dressed up goth that is my style that's what I like to grown-up goth that is what I like to wear so without further ado I'm going to get into each of the pieces that I've chosen and kind of why I've chosen them and then I'm also going to then do like combinations of how they can do it and hopefully I'll have cutaways as well so the first category that I want to chat through is tops and within your tops we're looking at three basics I think and everything will be linked down below I have going to be putting in a lot of hours trying to get links for everything um, and I hopefully will be able to so please like check the links in the description box because it will be full. The first item that I picked out is a bodysuit that has a low cut out so something that's going to show off your de uh, decollete, it's going to show off your collar, maybe a little bit of cleavage, whatever you're into. So that's the first one. I also like a bodysuit because it sits well into whatever you're wearing whether it's a skirt and I'll go through this in a minute but it gives a clean line as opposed to something that's maybe a little bit more bulky that you have to tuck in and kind of can create an extra bulk. It, a bodysuit I feel gives fine uh, fluid lines as opposed to creating extra bulk or extra heft where we don't need it. The second item I chose in is a tank top. So this is something that's very versatile but it's got a higher neck on it so that you can and obviously it's white so it's just you know we're rockers we're whatever I'm gonna refer to us as alt from here and so as an alternative just so I don't have to keep changing between all the different titles so for somebody who dresses alt you may choose that you would like this top to be pink or you might choose whatever it is but I just want to say that like I but I picked white because it is one that I like to wear and it gives us a little bit of variety. I also chose the different neckline because it is a higher neckline and it also has no sleeves on it so I find that this is very complementary to my taste to show my shoulders. I really like that look but also it's high neck so I feel nice and you know covered. I don't want like everything to be very cleavagey. And then my final item is a long sleeve black t-shirt. This is probably one of the most versatile pieces that I have in my wardrobe. It is very inexpensive. I got it in pennies or Primark. I think it was three or four euro. And I just, it's very stretchy, but this is a good base for any outfit. It can be very, very clean, very nice lines. And I really like, I, and you can also, you, you could get a version that has a lower neckline or a bodysuit as well so they're kind of little variations so you know do what you will but I just think that those three basics if you have those as your tops you can really build up anything then again on the tops line it would not be an alt capsule wardrobe without band tees so I've picked out two band tees here for different reasons so the first one is one that I have actually chopped up myself so I did the cut out so it used to look like this and I cut off the sleeves and made it cropped this is an Iron Maiden t-shirt obviously wear whichever band you like you know whatever it is we're, I'm not asking you to name three songs here if you know you know um, if you want me to name three songs I can. This is an Iron Maiden t-shirt that I got for the gig last a couple of weeks ago and I love this one and I like the colours in it because it gives me a little bit of colour and then I have one that is not too obviously a band tee so this is a primordial t-shirt again one of my favorite bands um, I've seen them bought this at the gig 
uh, but I, I like this style because this is a little bit understated. This is really obvious. But this is like, huh, I wonder what that pattern is. So it just gives that kind of like, if you were being like corporate goth for a day, you could maybe get away with this. I'm not saying that you can, but band tees and they're super versatile and I'm gonna show you how to style everything, obviously. Then in terms of the next stage for tops, something with a little bit of fancy. As you'll see, I've picked out things that are mostly black here and then a couple of tones like the white, but I also like a pattern and I think a pattern is fantastic when you are somebody who's alt and it is something that's very versatile and just adds a little bit of extra. So my pattern that I've chosen is leopard print. You could go with stars if they're your thing. You could go with zebra print if that's your thing. All of them are my thing. I have variations in all of these things, but I went with leopard print for this one because I think it's the most universal and it's the most the one that's kind of accessible that we can get all the time. So I have this satin shirt from Zara. I think this is incredibly versatile piece. I bought this in a size medium, so it's actually a bit oversized for me. I don't know, I, I don't know if it's relevant, but I am a size eight to 10 in the UK, Ireland, uh, which is a US four to six. I am a size small to extra small, and I am five foot eight and a bit and I weigh 147 to 149 pounds, depending on the day and depending on the time of my cycle. Or I think it was 151 pounds yesterday. So, you know, yeah, it just varies all the time. But that's just to give you an idea. So that obviously I've dressed more to suit somebody of my style, uh, my size, because that's what I am. Uh, so this piece, this Zara piece, this is fantastic. And this is really versatile. And then I picked something that, you know, if you didn't want to go for a shirt like this, something kind of different. So this is from Topshop um, on ASOS. I think it's Topshop. No, it's just ASOS design actually. And this is a see-through star print. So it's giving you a little bit of a print. It's giving you a little bit of something extra, just a little bit something more fancy. However, it isn't too obvious. So it's not too like in your face of a print. And I'll show you how to style this afterwards. Then one last thing for the tops. I think that if you can find some kind of bustier, some kind of crop top, something that is a little bit more sexy that we can dress up and dress down. I've given this example of this leatherette crop top bustier kind of look from Stradivarius. Yes, from Stradivarius. This is, to me is one of my most versatile pieces. I, and again, I will show you how I'm gonna dress this up and down, but I like, I love this thing. I love it. Now, moving on to the bottoms. The first thing, obviously, when we are talking about somebody who is alt, are jeans. This is really important for us. And I picked out two styles. So the first one is a five pocket, very normal, black skinny jean, your bog standard black skinny jean, making sure that it is tight on the ankles. And then I've also picked out a blue pair of mom jeans. These are my favorite. They have a little bit of distressing at the bottom, nothing too much. But as you guys know, jeans are such a versatile piece, dress up, dress down, and they are gonna be really useful for like the entire, for to interchange with your entire wardrobe. Next in our bottoms, it would not be, I don't think, an alt capsule wardrobe without a leather mini skirt a, or a leatherette. This is like faux leather mini skirt. This one is from Topshop. There are so many different types of leather skirt. You can get them in all different colors, but a leather skirt, as I'm gonna keep saying, is really versatile because everything in this capsule wardrobe is versatile, that's the point. And then in terms of another skirt style, again, I've just gone with plain black. You could change up the colors. If you pick one color that you, if you, like say for example, you didn't want to go for leopard print, but you liked red, you could get a red bias cut mini skirt or midi skirt, and then you could maybe get a red shirt and interchange those. So things kind of work together. So sticking to one tone, one pattern, will help to make it more interchangeable. As I said, this is a black midi skirt. This is just a key piece in my wardrobe. If I'm not sure what to wear, I will always go back to a black midi skirt. And the final bottoms, not 100% necessary, but I would recommend some kind of interesting trouser. For By interesting, I'm talking about either something like this. These are a pair of mom jeans kind of trousers that have barbed wire. But again, if you want to stick on your pattern, your same tone, this is a pair of wide leg flared 
leopard print trousers which are just amazing and you could also go with something like a leather pant or a leather legging as well or a leatherette they would work really well with this and very interchangeable the next section that i'm going to talk about are dresses i think there are two types of dresses that can make or break a wardrobe so we have here a long uh, midi just plain kind of tank dress and then we also have a little black dress because I think a little black dress is incredibly versatile, incredibly necessary. I would also include the dress that I'm wearing right now, which is something that's a little bit more patterned, something that's a little bit more interesting. So you could do a long sleeve version of this or the short sleeve or whatever it is that you like. But by having something that's got that little bit more interest in it, it helps to show, you know, if you're going to, like I would wear this to you know a garden party or I would wear this to a barbecue or I would wear it on a night out to dinner that kind of thing. I have two pieces a leather jacket it's like it couldn't be more obvious it's obviously needed this one's from Pull and Bear it is my favorite it's short I love this but it's faux leather of course and then a blazer a blazer can elevate an outfit a simple outfit to something that is just a little bit more put together a little bit more stylish Next, I'm going to chat to you about accessories. I think there are three accessories in terms of, yeah, three accessories that are very helpful for a alt outfit. First is a smaller waist belt. So something that you can use to cinch in your waist with an outfit. The next is a harness. Harnesses are very controversial. I know I'm wearing a harness right now. I think it just adds that little bit of extra something something to an outfit. I love me a harness. I have them in many colors and many styles and wear them all the freaking time. And then the final accessory and would not be complete in an alt, out, an alt capsule wardrobe without a studded belt. This one's from Rebel Rebel Alternative Apparel. You can get them in many places. I will link them down below. I went for a two row pyramid stud. So that's it for the accessories. Next, in terms of what we're gonna wear on our feet, I have four options or five? A to day, everywhere, first most important item for your capsule wardrobe is a pair of boots. These are my heavy bottomed platform Athens boot from ASOS. You could also get like a Doc Martin. Then you're gonna need some kind of runner or trainer, whatever you wanna call them. I've just gone for these really simple plimsolls that I got in New Look. I would also recommend Converse. Vans or buffalo runners, something that's comfortable to walk around in, that it's not causing you any issues, you're not like dragging your feet anywhere, but any of those that you can use to dress down something for something to be a little bit more casual. And we need something dressy if you're going on a night out, if you want to dress up, and I would recommend something like this, which is a platform heel from uh, Topshop via ASOS. And the final pair of shoes I would recommend is something like a sandal that you could wear obviously when it's slightly warmer. These are my Buffalo, I can't remember the style. I love these shoes so much. They have lasted me. These are my second summer wearing them now. This is if you're going out on a night out and you want to be a little more casual. If you want to, if it's a little bit warmer and you can get your legs out, these bad boys are amazing. Uh, I'd also recommend the Doc Martens ones. What I thought I'd do now is talk you through a couple of different combinations and how I would wear things and for what kind of occasion maybe. So let's start off with something really casual. If we are just going out, you know, just going shopping, just going like down to the shops or something like that, you're gonna take something like your plain t-shirt and one of your pairs of jeans. I would recommend, I would recommend going with your blue jeans the black top and probably your plimsoll runners. Spend that night, you're actually gonna go for drinks and you want to change it up a little bit. You still got your black top on from the day, but you can throw in a pair of tights and your leather skirt and then wear it with your boots. Or you're actually going to a gig and you want to be a little bit even more dressed up, you could do your leather skirt and your tank top or your bodysuit. So combining the two of them and sticking with the same pair of boots. Or you could do your skirt with one of your band tees. So it's actually a little bit warmer and you wanna wear something that's a little bit lighter. You could take your white tank top and you could pair it 
with your blue jeans, but you want it still to be a little bit more alt. So you're gonna go for your boots or your platforms with your studded belt. Your midi skirt again, you can literally pair every single one of these tops with your midi skirt. The same with your leather skirt, you can pair all of your kind of plain basics, your three plain basics with your band tees with either this skirt or with this skirt. Another great pairing is your shirt mixed with your leather skirt. This is such a look. And just to add a little bit more interest, say maybe this is you're going for, you're going out to dinner with your in-laws, but then you're going for drinks with your friends afterwards. So you've got your leather skirt and this on with your biker boots. You're wearing your bustier or your crop top and you open the buttons on this so this shines through then when you're going out for drinks. So it's just a little bit of extra something something. And you could also, on that outfit, wear your blazer on top of it. The blazer will go with pretty much any of these. I would recommend sticking your blazer when you're wearing leather on the bottom and wearing your leather when you're not. Basically wear this with nearly every outfit. I would recommend the blazer except with the midi skirt because I just think it's the way it cuts it doesn't look so great. Because it's a long line blazer, I wouldn't recommend pairing that. However, I think the cropped leather jacket would look good with everything except for leather bottoms because it's just too much leather on leather kind of look. So we have our nice fancy shirt. This is gonna look absolutely gorgeous with our black skinny jeans, wearing our studded belt, tied out with our high heels. Gorgeous combination. But we wanna stick with our black skinny jeans. We're going to a gig gig, like not, we're not gonna look stylish. Like we're not trying to look that kind of way. We're trying to look like, you know, just, I'm just going to a gig. You got your black jeans, your t-shirt, obviously not of the band that you're going to see because that's a faux pas. Uh, but you wear that combination with your studded belt and then this time you change for your boots. Let's add a little bit more intrigue on our bottoms. So let's look at leopard print flares. What will go with our leopard print flares are pretty much every one of our basics, including our band tees. I wouldn't recommend wearing le uh, leopard print with leopard print, that's a bit too much. But say we're going, you know, we're just going out for drinks, we're going out, like I would wear this all the time, to be honest with you. I wear this to like therapy. My leopard print pants, my bodysuit, my waist belt, and my blazer. That is, and then for shoes, for this outfit, depending on the weather, either my buffalo sandals. Are you seeing? Does, I hope this is helpful when I actually show you the combinations to see how you can interchange things. Great combo for this would be your leopard print pants, your cut up rock tee, the same belt, no. Yeah, the same belt, the same belt with your going out shoes and your leopard print or your leather jacket. That is like a winning combination. Also, I love the little hint of the red coming out of this in the lining, the little hint of red in the uh, Iron Maiden top. It's, it's giving. Okay, next let's look at our dresses and what we can do with our dresses. It's date night. We're feeling sassy. We're feeling some type of way. We want to wear a little black dress. Little black dress is just, oh, little black dress. With our little black dress, we might cinch in our waist with our waist belt. And we might wear really high heels and some black tights. And then just to tone it down, we might wear our blazer. If we've got our sassy pants on, we're gonna wear it with our leather jacket. <sighs> killer, killer outfit. If we take this little black dress, we take our shirt and we tie our shirt up and we cinch in our waist using our waist belt and we wear our boots. That's a look. 
Let's move on to our longer dress. We have got our midi dress, midi dress, harness, leather jacket, boots, done. Or this with our long sleeve t-shirt tied up, or not long sleeve, but the sleeved t-shirt tied up, harness or waist belt, nothing, and our runners just to be really casual, really cool. Another elite level for this will be these flares with your leather crop top or your bustier and your blazer on top with any of the shoes that you want to wear because they're so interchangeable. Another killer combo would be your leather skirt with your leather bustier, but on top of it, you're wearing the see-through top that is just going to, that's gonna give a lot for that. And you can wear it with any shoe that you like and your blazer on top. Guys, that is the end of the video. I hope that this has given you an idea of how a capsule wardrobe can be versatile, it can be cost effective, and it can take a little bit of that worry about what am I gonna wear out of it. But because the pieces are well chosen, they're well curated, they are really thought through. You can interchange the majority of them and wear nearly everything as some kind of combination. So it's never gonna look like you're wearing exactly the same thing. There's only 21 pieces here, including the shoes and the belts. So there is so much versatility in such a short number of pieces. So play with them, see what you get and just take your time every time you're thinking about purchasing. Will this go with something and do I need something else within my wardrobe? And if you would like me to do like a how to build a capsule wardrobe, you know, like what kind of thought processes you might wanna go through, I'm happy to do that. Or if there's anything else that you're interested in, if you'd like to see other combinations, maybe the winter, the summer, the spring, whatever it might be, autumn, autumn is a great time for old fashioned, I'm not gonna lie. I can show and share that with you and maybe I could do a week in outfits of me trying to stick to a capsule wardrobe and showing you. So please let me know down in the comments down below if that's something you'd like to see. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and you know, maybe share it, recommend it with some people who might be interested in it. I will love you and leave you guys and please don't forget to show for yourselves. Bye. And then in a final, interesting. What happened here? Because <laughs> it's a long line laser, blazer rather. It's giving, I'm watching too much Love Island, but it is giving. It's so fun, I love doing this. I am a ham.